Hi friends, welcome back to All and Law. Hey guys, welcome back to All on and Law. This is a YouTube channel dedicated for medical students and for nursing students and those students who want to appear for USMLE or any other medical board examination. So today's topic of discussion is a very simple, that's a Turner syndrome. So I'm going to talk about the Turner syndrome, the USMLE points, important points you should know about Turner syndrome. Okay, so I'm going to draw a diagram, uh, I'm going to talk a schematic representation, that's it. the clinical features you should remember. So I'm going to draw a diagram, of, let me start. So let me draw here. Okay, guys. Draw that. And just a schematic representation presentation that will help you to remember the clinical features. Okay, in a later video, I will discuss about the in detail, in depth of Turner syndrome. So let's talk about the clinical features that you should remember for your USML examination. In a, look at the stretcher. The first is the stretcher. Okay, it's very short, right? So short. And this, okay, short stretcher. Remember. Then you can see low posterior hairline here low posterior hairline okay right yes and you can see over here is the most important clinical feature that's a webbing of neck or a webbed neck okay guys right yeah now in the heart if this is a heart over here okay what kind of clinical, uh, what you call uh, a clinical condition you see in these patients? Can you guess? Yes, you're right. That's constriction of iota. Okay, constriction of iota. Okay. And if this is a chest, okay, if this is a chest, the chest will be the broad, remember, and the nipples are widely spaced. Broad chest. Okay, guys, and the nipples are widely spaced. Okay, now let's move on to the hands. If you see over here, the fingers are small, or you can call it the fingernails, small fingernails, small fingernails. Okay, and in at the private parts, over here, over here, and okay. So you can see rudimentary ovaries in fertility and amenorrhea. Rudimentary ovaries in fertility and amenorrhea. Okay. And in the legs, you can see pigmented nevi. There's a brown spots. Pigmented nevi or a brown spots. Okay. In the peripheral lymph edema can be seen over here. Peripheral lymph edema. Okay. 
So these are the clinical features that you should remember for your USMLE step 1 USMLE step 1 or step 2 CK examination. So this is how the clinical features of Turner syndrome you expect. Okay? So as you know the character type of uh, Turner syndrome is um, 45 45 X and 0 right or O. It said this is a very common cause of female hypogonadism. Female hypogonadism. Okay, guys, hypogonadism. Very important points. And the second X chromosome is necessary for what you call uh, oogenesis. Okay, and uh, normal development of ovaries. And the other important features you should remember about this of Turner syndrome I'm just talking about is uh, no bar bodies is present. Remember, this can be asked in new assembly. No bar bodies. Where do you see bar bodies? Means in which part of the body you see? Tell me over the comments. Okay, guys, bar body. So this is about uh, what you call. Um, uh, Turner syndrome schematic representation and uh, for clinical features of uh, Turner syndrome. I hope this is uh, really very helpful for you and um, I, I might have missed some of the clinical features that I will tell you like streaked ovaries um, Then we have what we call cystic hygroma really very important and these patients with the Turner syndrome have hypothyroidism very important and bicuspid aortic wall could be seen okay um, with along with the coarctation of aorta right um, remember the other point uh, um, what do you call a females with a 45 x or a 46 xy mosaism are at risk for gonadoblastoma so really very important okay guys so in the next video i'm going to talk about uh, what you call the uh, uh, lens hypothesis of x in activation okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video take care